Dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In today's episode, I'll be contemplating with you the meaning of the Quranic verse which reads, فَإِنَّ مَعَ الْعُسْرِ يُسْرَ Indeed, with every difficulty comes ease. So please stay tuned for the following couple of minutes. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wa lahu wa ba'd. Indeed, all praise is due to Allah. May Allah send his peace and blessings upon our honorable prophet, his family members, his companions, and whosoever follows his guidance until the day of judgment. Dear brothers and sisters, whenever something, something bad or evil or negative happens to us in this life, whenever we face difficulties or problems in this life, the first thing we should do is that we remind ourselves of the good and positive things that we have, that we remind ourselves of the blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed upon us. We have to think of the things that Allah has, has given to us, not about those things that he has not given to us. So at times of difficulty, we really need to concentrate on the positive things that we have. Why? Because no matter what problems you are having, you have so many blessings. Suppose you're having some financial issues. Perhaps Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed you with beautiful family, beautiful children that you love and who love you. Perhaps you are facing some health issues, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala might have blessed you with a good family, a pious wife and loving parents. Perhaps you are having some debt issues, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has granted you good health. So no matter what the situation is, for every negative, you can think of multiple positives in your life. Dear brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, فَإِنَّ مَعَ الْعُسْرِ يُسْرَ Allah is addressing Prophet Muhammad and his followers, of course, saying, know for sure that with every single difficulty comes multiple ease. And I will explain how multiple ease is associated with one single difficulty. Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us that alongside al-usr, difficulty, there is yusr, ease. What does this mean? This means never does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send something difficult for you except that alongside it, simultaneous to it, contemporaneous with it, is another qadr which is good for you. So never does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send down difficulty, except along with it, there will be multiple ease. The problem is you and me, we do not think of the good things that we have. We do not think, we, we only think of our health when we are sick. We only think of money when we don't have money. So we do not think of the positives. We only think of the negatives. Another benefit we take from this Quranic verse is that the word usr is used in its ma'rifa form. That is with the alif and lam. فَإِنَّ مَعَ الْعُسْرِ Whereas the word yusr is used in its nakira form. That is without the alif and lam. Which means for every specific difficulty, usr, there will be multiple ease. So the verse is saying for one single difficulty, for one usr, at least two yusrs will come down. Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu, while explaining the meaning of this verse, he said, لَنْ يَغْلِبَ عُسْرٌ يسرين. That one single difficulty, one usr, 
will always be beaten by two users. One difficulty will always lose in the face of two blessings. And the nakira could imply more. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَإِنَّ مَعَ الْعُسْرِ يُسْرَ Yusr here is nakira. And it could imply more and multiple uh, blessings and users. Two, four, two hundred, two thousand, you name it. Dear brothers and sisters, one of the great lessons we learn from this Quranic verse is that we should always look on the bright side of life. Another lesson we should learn from this Quranic verse is that no matter how pious and righteous you are, you still will be tested with some difficulties in this life. But also know for sure that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send you ease. Know for sure that with every single difficulty comes multiple ease. Dear brothers and sisters, this surah and specifically this verse gives us positive energy. It gives us optimism. It gives us proactivism. Because we Muslims, by nature, we are optimistic. We should always think that tomorrow is going to be better than today. That this year is better. That next year is going to be even better. That tomorrow brings up a new dawn. And that the new dawn brings more opportunities. All you have to do is just set an agenda for yourself. Set a plan and goal for yourself that inshallah this year will be better for me physically, spiritually, religiously, emotionally. In every single aspect, I'll be a better person. I'll be a better Muslim. I will be more proactive. I will be better with my family. I'll be better with my society. I will pray regularly. So we need to have and develop this positive attitude towards ourselves, towards our family, towards our society, and most importantly, towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I would like to conclude with this beautiful Qudsi hadith in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ana abdi bi. I am as my th servant thinks of me. I will treat my servant the way he assumes I will treat him. So if he has positive thoughts about me, if he has good thoughts about me, then I will fulfill those positive thoughts for him. But if he has negative thoughts about me, if that is what he thinks of me, then this is what he is going to get. May Allah count me and you amongst those who have good and positive thoughts about the Lord. And with this, we come to the end of today's episode. Until we meet again, thank you for watching. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Oh,